17 books on Christopher Columbus, and each one of those is presenting a different analysis of the context and acts. And I think that's the role of history. No one here is trying to sanitize what Christopher Columbus meant for other groups of people. We are trying to justify what Christopher Columbus means to our group of people. And um, again, as I said in, in that letter I wrote, the mayor and speaker are opening up a can of worms because everything is offensive. We have Scott Lombardo here, who literally paints American flags, not American flags with symbols in it or our stuff. He paints American flags on buildings, and people find that extreme. But don't you think maybe, like, being honest about what you did is cover America as a person who worked in one American event? It is unquestionable that, that Christopher Columbus ushered in the era of modern American colonialization and colonization of the new world. That, that's beyond question. I mean, we, 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 there's no Leif Erikson deniers uh, behind me, and, and that's not why we're celebrating Columbus. We're celebrating him as the explorer, as the human, which includes good and bad, uh, and we're celebrating the legacy uh, of Italian-American institutions in this city uh, and the country. But again, Columbus was revered up until about a week ago when people on the left decided it was in vogue to tear down statues. Columbus is, is the capital of our country, is named the District of Columbia. You know, these are things that were universally accepted as uh, as part of our fabric of who we are for his faults and for his triumphs. Just going to correct Christopher Columbus may not have been the first European to come across the Atlantic, but he was the first European to chart the course in such a way so that others would be able to come the same way and go back and forth. And that's what makes him a very special character. trying to act like Robespierre uh, and tear down statues all over the city of New York. You look back, I, I made the joke about Robespierre, but you look back at the French Revolution, you look back uh, at, at the Leninist purges uh, after the October Revolution, you look at you know ISIS and the Taliban tearing down statues, and you see the, the, the foolishness of the actions of these people. And the people out there who are, you know, without the municipality's permission, ripping down statues, they look as foolish to me uh, as the people from previous statue purges look to each other. First of all, my mother's from Catania, Sicily. I'm a first generation here in the United States. I'm appalled at one thing. We have a city council speaker and a terrorist that maimed fellow officers, fellow detectives, and she wants to honor that piece of garbage, and now she's going to hold court for my calling Christopher Columbus? Hey, listen to me, young man. You got to lay it You got to lay it I don't think the mayor, I don't think the mayor's in yet, but we got a mayor here who has to stand up and say, stop the nonsense. We're not removing Christopher Columbus. He's our leader. Let him support him. Italian American, not to vote for Big Bird to bless you. I'm Italian American. You can vote for an independent candidate that stands up for the Italians. And God bless everybody in New York. There's a guy named American Vespucci. Remember him? He was a, he was a slave owner too. Then we should get rid of America. His name after him. When are we going to stop the nonsense? Yes. Yes. Sorry. Yes. 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 The modern cultural revolution. I think Paul is right, and I want to go back to something President Trump said that uh, many people on the networks that are filming us now who would be said who's next. And at the time he said that at a rally, everyone dismissed it and said he was the one speaking it verbally. Uh, and yet here we are defending the statue of Christopher Columbus, amongst other calls from George Washington and Thomas Jefferson uh, and, and even Ulysses S. Grant. We're saying we should tear down statues of Robert E. Lee, okay, we don't to tear down the statues of Ulysses Grant. I can't follow this. I, I wish you would name the commission and police the list, but I know the political reality, and he knows the political reality, and he opened up a can of worms, uh, and they're going to have to sort of the most obscure statues and place names in our city now to justify uh, what he's announced publicly will happen.
But I, I believe he doesn't want to take the political risks uh, of, of starting to reopen the history. He doesn't want to make modern New Yorkers chess pieces in battles that occurred hundreds of years ago. No mayor would, and, and uh, I, I wish I wish the political would have saw that before. I think we're trying to figure out how to the people that come as counterparts to I wasn't there. We weren't there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, Pops de Leon was the linguistic okay, force, Spanish export. Well, name all the explorers more an angels, okay? You I know, know this, this one, one, this one, this one, this one important issue. We have a progressive city council here, with the leader is half the cycle here. I worry about the commission they put together, because right now this progressive city council is like the Star Wars scene at the bar there, you know what I mean? We got a problem with this commission, and there's going to be other statues like that. We've got to stand fast. You're not going to remove Christopher Columbus. End the story.